hello viewers in this video we are going to investigate the definition of capito fabrizio fractional derivative when alpha is near zero okay we know that the capito fabrizio fractional derivative of order alpha from a to x of some function f of x is equal to m of alpha over 1 minus alpha integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha into f prime of t dt where m of alpha is a normalization function which has a property that m of 0 and m of 1 both are equal to 1 since we are investigating at alpha near 0 so definitely m of 0 would become 1 so we can just leave this factor here because it will contribute nothing okay since this function has a complicated form so we cannot apply the limit at this present situation we have to simplify this integral operator a little bit so what we do we just integrate this function okay so integrating by parts i have 1 over 1 minus alpha outside and taking this exponential function as first function the first function as this e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and taking the integral of second function because it has a prime so integral will cancel out prime so we'll just left f of t and we have to evaluate this function at this endpoints a and x and then we have minus again integral from a to x and again we have to in, in integrate the second function which is now f of t and derivative of the first one which is e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and its derivative of the power with respect to t would be just alpha over 1 minus alpha dt okay now we have to take this limiting values are on this function when t is x this becomes 0 e raised to power 0 becomes 1 so it is just f of t at the point x will becomes f of x and minus at the lower point when t is a this becomes e raised to power minus alpha 1 x minus a over 1 minus alpha into f of a and from next term we can take this alpha over 1 minus alpha outside and what is left we just in integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha f of t dt okay we can now multiply this function one alpha but you can take this inside so this becomes f of x over 1 minus alpha and when multiply this by this function i'll get f of a over 1 minus alpha with exponential function of power minus alpha into x minus a over 1 minus alpha and minus when this multiply by this one it becomes alpha over 1 minus alpha whole square integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and f of t dt okay from here i just add here one extra term similar to this last term but with one difference that instead of taking f of t i'm going to take f of x so i'm just adding alpha over 1 minus alpha whole square integral from a to x exponential minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha f of x dx okay so i have since added this term so i have to can i have to subtract it as well to make the balance so alpha over 1 minus alpha whole square integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha f of x dt okay now uh, on the left i have d from a to x of order alpha 
cf of function f of x okay now i will write first this term then i will write this term and then i will take this term putting in this bracket so we can remember it so this function will remain as this f of x over 1 minus alpha and this again will remain as this f of alpha over 1 minus alpha e raised to power minus alpha x minus a over 1 minus alpha and from this function since f of x this is f of x we can plug it outside so i am left with alpha into f of x over 1 minus alpha whole square and then in this integral only first only one term will remain so we can integrate it very easily so its integral would be e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and then we have to divide the derivative of the power which is with respect to t so it becomes minus alpha again minus so it's alpha so, so it is divided by alpha over 1 minus alpha or we can multiply it by 1 minus alpha over alpha at the point x is equal to t is equal to a and t is equal to x so this is what we have from these three terms and now what is left behind this term and this term and these two terms are almost same with one just one difference here we have f of t and here we have f of x so we can combine it so after combining i am left with alpha over 1 minus alpha whole square integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha into since this is positive term so i will write f of x first and then i have f of here f of t so f of t d t okay now i have to simplify this term this term so uh, f of x over 1 minus alpha will remain as it is f of a over 1 minus alpha e raised to power minus alpha into x minus alpha over 1 minus alpha minus and from here i have to simplify this at the upper limit x t is equal to x when t is equal to x this becomes 0 so this whole term becomes 1 so uh, just here only one term which is 1 minus alpha over alpha when this multiply by this term so what is left it will just be f of x over 1 minus alpha because this alpha cancel out this term and this cancel out this one factor so f of x over 1 minus alpha at the upper limit and when we have lower limit minus and there's one minus outside so it's plus when t is equal to a this becomes exponential minus alpha x minus now is a over 1 minus alpha and we have this factor outside which is f of x over 1 minus alpha and this last term which is written in green will remain as this alpha over 1 minus alpha whole square integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha into f of x minus f of t dt okay from here you can see that this term cancel out this one okay and from and from this term and this term we can factor out 1 over 1 minus alpha and we have left f of a uh, or f of x because that is positive term so f of x f of x and from here f of a and we have one more common factor e raised to power minus alpha x minus sorry it is not alpha it is a x minus a over 1 minus alpha okay this term and this term i am get this and from last term that will remain as it is 1 minus alpha whole square integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and then f of x minus f of t 
date and on the left hand side i have capitu fabrizio derivative from a to x of order alpha okay at this point i will apply the limit so what is limit applying limit limit alpha goes to 0 and here it has d from a to x of order alpha in the capital fabrizio derivative of some function f of x here f of x as well and then i have limit alpha goes to 0 and then we have this function and now you can see that when alpha is 0 e to the power since this is x minus a since alpha is 0 this power will 0 and exponential will 0 power just 1 here alpha is 0 so it is 1 so from the first term I am left with f of x f of x minus f of a okay from the second term since we have this factor alpha being multiplied by this whole thing so when alpha is 0 this whole thing is 0 so I am just left only this factor so limit alpha goes to 0 capitu fabrizio derivative from a to x of order alpha of function f of x will have this thing okay this now we need to uh, look it here since alpha is 0 it means we are not differentiating f of x so that must return f of x back but here you can see that it has an extra term f of a that means capitu fabrizio fractional derivative is not matching with the classical derivative when alpha is 0 but it returning an extra term f of a however if we have function f of x is such that f of a is equal to 0 or if we have lower limit 0 instead of a and function have 0 value at that 0 point then we can say that this new fractional derivative does match with the classical otherwise we have this difference okay in the next video i'm going to take some elementary functions like x to the power n and i'm going to find its capital fabrizio fractional derivative and also we need to find its laplace form because whenever we need to solve a differential equation a fractional differential equation involving this new fractional derivative operator we do need that laplace transform we'll do that in coming videos thank you for watching